Mr. Jerk and Laugh on suffix education, and this is an After Effects tutorial on the typewriter effect. So let's get started. So first of all, you guys want to go to a new composition, and I'm sorry about my Skype. Some stupid kid is just going off at me right now. All right, anyway, so you want to go to new composition, typewriter, and you want to have, or you can name it whatever you want. I just named it typewriter. So I would recommend 1280, yeah, 1280 pixels by 720 pixels and a 59.94 frames per second. Sorry for I'm going fast, and then you want to go to 30. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what you have. All right, from there on, you want to go to Layer, New, Solid. Um, and you just want to click OK. So after you click OK, you want to go to Effects, Generate, and Ramp. Once you get to Ramp, you want to go to Linear Ramp and Radial Ramp. And then you just want to choose your colors. So I'm just going to choose a nice little light little blue. And then for this, I'm going to choose a dark blue. That looks nice. All right, now we want to go and we want to go to Layer, New, Text, or you can just click on this little text button. I am using the alternate gothic text, and it's really nice text, and I'll have the link in the description below for that. It's free, don't worry. And we're just going to type in tutorial. And we're just going to do all. Yeah, like that. And we're just going to move it down in the middle of that. All right, now what we want to do from there on in, and we want to, why do I always do that? And we just want to go down like this, and we want to go to animate, opacity, and we want to go down to range selector. And we just want to turn this all the way down to zero, the opacity all the way down to big boy zero. All right, then you want to come to where you want your um, thing to start. And I'm just going to have it like that. All right, there you go. That's one second for me. And you just want to hit the keyframe setting. All right, and I'm just going to go to two seconds here. And you're just going to pull, whoa there, all the way up to 100. All right, so now let's just get a little preview of it. And there that is. There's that. And we'll stop that. And now we go down to advanced. And we're going to turn the smoothest down to 100. And we're just going to ramp preview that. So now it looks much better. And we'll stop it. And we'll just close out of this. And we'll close out of that. And we'll close out of animator 1 because animator 1 sucks. Now you want to go to animator 1 or animator animate opacity and get a yeah you want to click on that go to animate and then click on opacity and it'll give you an uh, animator 2 now from there on out you would just want to keep go to 0 but you want to go to 100 right now so you can see and then you just want to go to add property character value and it really doesn't matter what you do I'm just going to go to 124 because that's a bar and that gives me the best ef effect for this like text alright that gives me the best effect that I want all right, now from there on out, and then you just want to go to end, and you just want to put your end 2%. All right, and then, so let's just get a little ramp preview of it, and I don't know why it's doing that to me right now. All right, I'll just put it to 1 here and see if that works. And we'll just look at it. All right. So what that does is I don't know why it's glitching right now. I really don't know. And we'll just stop that for a second. And we're just going to. I don't know why it's doing that. Don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm having some technical difficulties here. Oh, I see why now. It's at it's at that. So let's just look at it like that. And it's like that. Alright, so basically, you want to have that down, and you want to go to Advanced, and you just want to turn down the smoothness on here. And then we want to go to where our, like, thing started. And so about right before. And we're just going to click, yeah, you can put the, to about 2%. And we're just going to click the offset keyframe, and we're going to go over here. And you can, as you can see, you can see that. And we're just going to click all the way up to 100 here. And you'll see how this looks. And I don't know why, but it's being gay right now. So, and you can mess around with this, and you'll see if, what if kind of effect it'll give you. Um... We'll see if the opacity fixes it, and that does. 
that definitely does fix it. Um, now we're just going to put it down to 3 here. And that's a nice little effect. Make sure you have your smoothest down to 0% here. And I'll show you a reason why. Otherwise, it looks like that. And you get this crappy little thing that you get right there. So you just want to turn your smoothest down to zero. And I'm sorry if I'm really confusing right now. I've kind of forgot what I had to do here. So you're just going to get on advance. And so it's at a zero. So I have it on about 3%. You can, you can put it on two and see if it will give you a better effect. But... So that's looking nice and good. So um, thank you guys for watching. This is on Zephix Education, and I hope I didn't confuse you too much on this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a like, rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to favor this if you really like this so I can do more on Zephix Education. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'll have that in the link description below. As always, as I said before in the video, I'll have that text in the thing link, link in the description below. And just, just check out my channel, you guys. So I'll see you all later. Peace. Peace.